Okay, so as we're waiting for some of our peers to walk in, a couple reminders. Um, many of you play on multiple athletic teams this winter, so make sure that whatever team you are initially seated with, just maintain that spot. So for example, if you play middle school soccer and also on a varsity soccer team, just maintain your spot with that middle school team. And then when your team is called up, whether it's varsity girls soccer, varsity boys soccer, make sure that you come up with that team as well. Okay, but just maintain your original seat. And then secondly, you're going to enter on my right, and then you will exit on my left, so as you're exiting, the next team can come up, okay? All right, good morning. So we'll go ahead and start as some kids are coming in. Uh, good morning. Welcome to our third annual, believe it or not, this is our third annual Winter Athletic Awards Ceremony. We're here to celebrate student athletes for their commitment, desire to compete, and dedication to their sport, even in the middle of the pandemic. But before we proceed with the program, can you please stand for the pledge and prayer? Gracious God, we thank you for all of the gifts that you have given us. Today we offer you particular thanks for those to whom you have given the courage, tenacity, and skills to participate in athletics. Thank you for the coaches and mentors and for all who support us in our endeavors. Help us to always strive to better ourselves and to practice good sportsmanship in all we do. Amen. You may be seated. While the student athletes are called to stage, this year would not be possible with all the support of our parents, coaches, teachers, and peers. All too often, we had to learn lessons in patience, flexibility, and outstanding communication. And to say that we nailed it is an understatement. This winter, we had a varsity boys basketball team within two points of a district title, a middle school soccer team with its best record in six years of six wins and two losses, Continuous improvement by the girls' basketball and soccer teams, knocking off some extremely tough opponents that had previously defeated us, and the resiliency of our boys' soccer team battling injuries throughout the year to finish the year with grit and determination. Our varsity boys' basketball coach, Coach Kaysen, was recently named one of eight regional finalists out of over 600 applicants for the Positive Coaching Alliance Double Goal Coach Award. The PCA recognizes coaches who use their sport to teach lessons on and off the court. And to think that some schools throughout this country, and even locally, weren't given the opportunity to compete, we not only competed, but did so at a high level. The 2020-2021 season was a season of determination, adaptability, and perseverance. We couldn't be prouder of all that we've accomplished as a school. And now for a few words from our student government vice president, Jared Mantel. Thank you, Coach Talley. We in the Canterbury community quite often hear of the achievements of our fellow students. Be they straight A's, national merit qualifications, or college acceptances, there is never a shortage of dedication for us to reward. This time of year, however, is the time we take to honor our student athletes. Day in and day out, whilst many in the student body struggle with workload, time management, and extracurricular activities, it is our student athletes that choose to take on the additional burden of representing our school in a competitive environment. These students are not paid, are not given service hours, and are not incentivized in any form. And yet they choose to spend their afternoons and weekends practicing, honing in their skills, and refining their techniques, all in the name of dedication to the sport they love. 
School athletics is a responsibility and a commitment. And as an out-of-school athlete myself, I can tell you it isn't easy. For every hour student athletes stare at a textbook, an equivalent hour must be spent on the court, field, track, or in my case, dojong. For my fellow student athletes, this is our one time of the year to be recognized for the fruits of our labor. It is a culmination of every tough loss, of every glamorous win, of every practice that seemed like it would never end, of every sore morning and stressful afternoon. This is our moment, the moment where our hard work finally begets sweet victory. So student athletes, whether you represent our school from this stage today, or represent yourself from a classroom watching this live, congratulations. Your effort has paid off and may continue to do so for the rest of your athletic career. All right. Thank you, Jared. All right. So the following awards will be given today. Certificates for middle school and JV participation, letters for a first-time varsity letter winner in any sport, sport pins for the first-time varsity award for any specific sport, perhaps a student athlete already earned a varsity letter in another sport, and a service bar, which recognizes continued varsity commitment to that sport. And per Canterbury's athletic handbook, varsity letters are earned by attending 75% of the team's practices and games. Individual awards decided on by the coaches will also be given out this morning. And now before we proceed with the program, let's sit back and watch some exciting highlights from our winter athletic season. All right, we'll go ahead and move on with our, the presentation of our awards to our teams, and then we'll come back to that at the end. So um, first of all, let's introduce our first team, uh, the middle school girl, excuse me, middle school soccer team, and their coach, Coach Rango. So if you guys are just kind of spread out a little bit, there are some um, spots in front. Yep, look for the blue tape spots just so we can. Yep, there's a couple over here too. It's okay, we're gonna get going, Ms. Rangel. All right, so first, Ms. Rangel, you have your certificate. All right, first, Henry Carlson. Ella Cash, Michael Connors, Colleen Dixon, Aubrey Evans, Kirsten Gulick, Katie Clemenko, Tadia Millick, Tuscany Moore, Catherine Marillo, <laughs> Chloe Nuss, <laughs> Julian Oliver, <laughs> Bella Tadros, <laughs> and Tyler Woodward. <laughs> All right, now Ms. Rangel has a few um, individual awards. The first player is the best defensive player. This is a player who has so much energy and light on and off the field. 
She held her own throughout all the boys she competed against, and I was never afraid when I saw her in a one-on-one -on -one situation. She stepped up big when we needed her, and she never failed to give her all every single game. Best defensive player, Chloe Nuss. So, and, and just another note, these are words that my coaches wrote and I just embedded in my speech. I didn't make this up, so just that little disclaimer. Uh, the next is the best offensive player. I tried to recruit this player last year for our team, and this year he finally joined us. We are so happy that he did, as he scored more than one hat trick and brought a fun, competitive attitude to our, to our team. He kept us cool when the other teams around him tried to get under his skin, and I'm so proud of the player and the young man that he's becoming. Best offensive player, Colleen Dixon. Uh, the next is the most valuable player. This should come as no surprise, as this player sets the example of what a, of an amazing soccer player should be. He's at every practice, every game, and making us laugh through it all. He sets the example of proper running form, how to keep your cool, and how to give it your all. Not to mention that the last save of our last game was one of the best I've ever seen. MVP, Michael Connors. And unfortunately, this young man can't be here because he's also uh, a sailor, so he's in a regatta this weekend in Miami. Um, but I do want to read it. Uh, our most improved player is Callan Burnett. This player underwent the biggest transformation I've ever seen a soccer player undergo in such a short time. In the beginning of the season, this is true, I had to teach him how to run and not trip over his feet when he went to shoot. And by the end of the season, he was scoring on multiple headers. I wish I could take credit, but this is all him. He has a bright future head in soccer if he chooses it. Talon Burnett. So once again, congratulations, Coach Rangel, on your amazing team. And um, you can see we have a co-ed middle school team, but we competed against boys probably 99.9% .9 of the time. So uh, shout out to you and your leadership. Thank you, guys. And now as they're exiting, could we have the varsity girls soccer team, please? Nuss, Chloe Nuss, and Giselle Prudhomme was our student manager, Hannah Ross, senior captain, Katie Schaffner, second year varsity, Bella Tadros, second year varsity. and Sarah Young, third year varsity. And now we have a few individual awards that the coaches decided upon. 
Their first award is the best offensive player. The best offensive player goes to a player that is dedicated, motivated, and focused. She was our leading scorer with nine goals and three assists this season. The best offensive player award goes to Tuscany Moore. The best defensive player award goes to a player, an athlete that is resilient and controlled the opponents throughout her aggressiveness and speed the entire season. When she was not on, her, not on the field, her teammates definitely noticed the missing link. This year's best defensive player goes to Tayton Moore. And the third award is the Most Improved Player. The Most Improved Player Award goes to a player that is one of our model players. She gives 100% at practice, games, and has a positive attitude. She started every game that she was able to and made her first varsity goal this season and also had an assist. This year's Most Improved Player, Anna Berenger. Thank you, congratulations, girls varsity soccer team. Thank you. Thank you. And then as they're exiting, as they're exiting the state varsity boys, if you guys could just enter on the right with Coach Beelan. Good luck and best wishes. 
which is the MVP, Christian Burnett. The next award is a Crusader Award. As a new member of the team this season, he quickly turned into one of our most important players on our team. Aside from being one of the best performing players, he's hardworking and determined. He is in love with the game of soccer, and his passion for it has no limits, which is contagious and spreads like wildfire, benefiting the entire team. I cannot wait to see what Sam has for the team next year. Crusader Award Sam Rockford. And last but not least, we have the Coaches Award. According to Coach Mielin, this young man is the quiet one. His personality and high intelligence prevents him from being the soul of the team. But you will see him by himself, a couple feet aside from the group, preparing for the game quietly, which would fool any bystander for a very passive and discouraged player. However, the game is the switch for him. You will see a totally different loop. Passionate and hardworking, he's been one of the key pillars for the team throughout the season. Recovering from a past injury, he's been consistently challenged to perform at a high level, and he always delivered. The best part is that despite a great season, he has still yet not shown his full potential. Can't wait for next year. Coaches Award Lou Liberato. Thank you so much, Coach Mulan and the Varsity Boys team. Thank you. Shooting and ball handling have improved immensely from last year where he was named 
our Rookie of the Year. This year's MVP, Roman Wilder. All right, thank you guys so much. And we'll make sure for kids that aren't here, if you're watching at home, and just stop by and we'll get you your awards because they're obviously well deserved. So, And now we can have our JV Boys basketball team enter the stage. Giannis Garcia, second year varsity. Mariah Harrison, first year varsity award winner. Soraya Hughes, first year varsity. And Jamaria Long, first year varsity. Alea Peterson, second year varsity. Mackenzie Tucker, second year varsity. 
and Sarah Young, third year varsity. Okay, so here are our Coach Pals individual awards. Um, the first one is the Defensive Player of the Year. This young lady improved greatly throughout the year. She gave 100% in practice and in every game to create turnovers, turnovers on defense and to help her teammates around her. This year's Defensive Player of the Year, Sammy Beltran. And Coach Powell chose two co-MVPs. Um, but on a side note, I do want to let everyone know that um, prior to the end of Sarah's season, she was leading the team in rebounding, averaging 14 rebounds a game. So I had to throw that little fun fact in there for everybody. Um, so our co-MVPs, our co-MVPs, these young ladies made an impact every day in practice and in games. They gave 100%, diving for loose balls, and crashing the boards. They led the team in scoring average per game, and they were second and third in the team, respectively, in team rebounds. Coach Powell recognizes them for always going above and beyond and for helping make their teammates better each and every day. Co-MVPs, Peyton Cushman and Jamaria Long. Yeah, we'll make sure we give Jamaria her award when she comes back. All right, thank you guys so much. If you guys could, yep, exit to my left. Good job, good job, good job. Then we're gonna get and then last but not least, if we could have our varsity boys team come up, and then after that we'll do our video once they're done. So even though we'll be done with the words, if you guys wanna stay online and watch the video, that would be awesome. There's some amazing shots of all these kids that have accomplished this year. Yes, sir. You want some help? Yep. So are you guys in order? Yes, nice job, kind of. Percy, yep, senior. You got, we got blue tape up here, got, there you go. And also, Coach Powell only has two hands, so if you are supposed to get a varsity letter, we'll leave him up here, because Coach Powell doesn't have that extra hand, so make sure you guys grab your letter. All right, first, Nicholas Aldrich, first year varsity award winner. Bryson Ball, first year varsity. Antoine Cummings, first year varsity. Sam Lee, second year varsity. Alfredo Lugo, first year varsity. Ian McDonald, first year varsity. Titan Moore, first year varsity. Percy Peterson the third, third year varsity. Aiden Ramos, second year varsity. Dominic Smith, second year varsity. Nikola Voinovich, first year varsity. Curtis Williams, second year varsity. And Drew Young, first year varsity. All right, so here are Coach Kaysen's individual awards. Uh, first, the Outstanding Player of the Year. This player led the team in scoring average, averaging 21 points a game, and recently received an offer to play at Southwestern College. On several occasions, he was named the Pinellas Private School Conference Player of the Week and led his team to the district finals. He is also recognized as the Blue Collar Player of the Year, Points are earned for this award based on offensive and defensive rebounds, steals, deflection, floor dives, and charges taken. This year's outstanding player, Percy Peterson III. Next, we have the Offensive Player of the Year. 
This young man took a tremendous step forward in scoring and on several occasions led our team in scoring for the evening. His hard work in the offseason contributed to this transformation. His offensive output was highlighted by his 25-point game in the district championship against Bayshore. We look forward to great things from him in the future. This year's Offensive Player of the Year, Dominic Smith. And last but not least, we have the Defensive Player of the Year. This player's effort and energy was contagious this season on the defensive end. He rebounded the ball for us all season, finishing second in rebounding average on our team. He created havoc for the opposing team throughout each and every game. His intensity, positive energy, and smile he brought to the court every day will be greatly missed next year. This year's Defensive Player of the Year, Antoine Cummings. So this concludes our award program, but please stay on, and you guys please stay in here. We're gonna go ahead and do our, um, our video, which is the best part. All right, congratulations. Thank you guys all, so if you log off, thank you for being here, and go Crusaders.